Hello Harv, Video Audio Stuff, welcome back. Recently I just finished filming a video from a band called Kronos, uh, who are based in Bath in the West Country of the UK. Um, before you watch this video I would recommend checking out theirs, which um, you should, yeah, it's, it's, it's down there, you can click uh, the link in the description below. The reason I wanted to make this video is because it, it the video turned out really, I mean I'm pretty proud of it and um, I think it looks pretty pretty awesome and I thought I'd share a few of the a few of the techniques that I used uh, whilst filming. I should stress this is not going to be about editing or grading that kind of thing, I, um, I'm going to stick to just um, how I film things, what it was like on set and any tricks I used. The song itself is actually about the decay in our environment and so the band wanted some form of nature within the video. So we shot it at two locations, uh, firstly we did it in a big hall just to get the main kind of fundamental band shots and um, that kind of thing. And then we went out to an amazing local wood in the area which has got lots of streams and it's, it's like a maze and it's, it's a pretty kind of aesthetically pleasing kind of place to film so um, we thought let's go there and um, and it worked out pretty good. On top of that I also did a, a sort of session just on my own uh, filming assets for the video and I had a few things that I wanted to sort of to try and uh, recreate for the video and that was one uh, kind of element of sort of fire and also one of I wanted to see if I could work pollution, some form of pollution in there somehow so I did that. I'm going to show you how I did it. But before that uh, just bear in mind that um, I don't make any money from these videos, um, obviously the band paid me, but for these videos I just do these because I think they're helpful for you guys, I hope they are, uh, and so I so just do them for fun, and um, so if you could just take a second to hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it, um, there's a lot more content like this coming, uh, so if you like this then uh, definitely get up there and subscribe. Anyway, let's get on with it. The first day of filming was actually filmed in the hall location just because I wanted to get that nailed locked down so that I had all of the kind of the fundamental shots there and done and then I could worry about the narrative afterwards. And I thought it best to start with the most difficult shots and get them out of the way um, and um, obviously I had to group the different types of lighting setups together so I didn't have to change them over and that kind of thing. So the first shot is actually it's an odd one, it's the most, probably one of the most difficult shots I've ever had to do. It involved me skating around the band on my electric skateboard, um, holding a steady cam uh, and trying not to fall off. By the way, if you haven't seen my review of the Evolve Bamboo Street electric skateboard, I'll pop that down below as well. It's a riot, I highly recommend it to anyone. So this really was quite a challenging shot. Um, it, it's kind of, it's hard enough to sort of concentrate in skating around in a perfect circle around them. It's another thing, making sure the camera's facing the right way, isn't sort of wobbling and you know is steady enough for to make the cut. As you can see, uh, the lighting wise, I had to um, set up a, a basically a 360 degree lighting setup. So it wasn't as if I could put the lighting just you know behind them or in front of them because then it might look a bit odd skating around the other side of it and um, so what I decided to do was um, to set up a kind of a top-down really kind of moody contrasty kind of light lighting setup um, and, and bearing in mind that was the main brief that the band gave me in terms of the look that they wanted and which they, they said dark and I interpreted that as high contrast basically um, that I've worked with them before I know that's I know that's the kind of thing they want they want sort of super high contrast um, look, so this worked really well for this shot. Gear-wise, I used my Sony A7S II, which is perfect for this kind of situation. I used my Canon 24-70 f4 IS. So I had image stabilization in the lens, image stabilization on the sensor, with a Steadicam. So I thought I was probably going to be okay. It was going to be smooth enough. Um, I used an aperture of. 7.1 somewhere around that because I kind of I needed quite a lot of um, depth of field um, because it's focusing was going to be near impossible so I had to pre-focus and hopefully stay the same distance from the band as I went round. My ISO was pretty high I think it was somewhere near 20,000 would you know? 
For the second shot, I recomposed the lighting and I backlit them and set up some front lighting just to illuminate their faces a little bit. But I really wanted that kind of high contrast backlit look. Um, and I shot it all on the Steadicam freehand. And the idea was for just to feature whatever instrument or what, you know whatever was going on in the song. If it was the chorus, I'd feature the, the singer. If it was a solo of some sort, then I'd feature that particular guitar. Um, so yeah, I call it a, f a feature shot where I'm featuring certain things and I can cut to it. It basically means that during the edit, I know that each important event in the song is covered. I know that I filmed it. In terms of settings, I kept them very similar to the previous shot because I needed that, you know, that a lot of depth of field again because I was moving around and, you know, it's kind of, it's more difficult to focus as well as being on a steady cam. So I just needed, needed more depth of field. So that's how I did it. The third shot, I actually set up uh, a jib on a tripod, which this was the first time I'd used it on, you know, on a paid uh, gig. Um, and it, it worked okay. It was kind of, it was a little bit cumbersome. You know, I, I had quite a heavy setup on the actual camera itself. I had, you know, um, the A7S II with a cage and a quite a heavy lens on. So I needed quite a lot of weight at the other end. Um, lighting wise, I kept it the same, backlit with some, you know, just a little bit of front lighting to just light up their, their faces a little bit. And actually during the song, which is, by the way, a long, it's, it's sort of six minutes long, so I had plenty of time to get different shots. I made sure that each chorus, I was either coming down or going up, and I wasn't at that midpoint where you're up and you need to change direction. And then, um, and also as the song progressed, I actually, um, I moved back, and then towards the end I moved back even more just to give that kind of even wider, sort of epic kind of looking shot. And then I decided to get some detail shots, so I set up on the left hand side of the band, uh, slapped on my Canon 85mm lens, and I opened up the aperture a bit so I could have a bit more shallow depth of field, and, um, and maybe do some focusing as I'm doing it. So it was a tripod shot, nice and steady, but with lots of movement still. Settings wise, I was about at about f2.8 and around sort of, I think it was 8,000 ISO, which still seems high, but then bear in mind, I'm shooting in S-Log2 and I want to overexpose just a little bit, because um, you, you tend to find there's a little bit less noise uh, when color grading. And the final shot during the hall scene, um, I actually went on the other side of the band, to the right, and I stepped way back and put on my Canon 70-200, and I was around, I think, f5, f5.6, that kind of aperture. Um, what I wanted to do was get a very different look again, so, you know, more compressed, um, and, you know, I was focusing, I was zooming in and out, that kind of thing, just to feature certain bits. Um, it, and in the end, I got some really interesting shots with that setup, so, um, yeah, pretty happy. And then a few days later, we filmed the wood scene, which, um, as I mentioned, the band wanted an, an element of nature in the shots. They wanted lots of running water, that kind of thing, so it was it was pretty perfect. We have decided to feature the singer, it kind of made sense as he's the front man of the band. So we filmed it in early evening, so that I still had a little bit of light to work with, but it was starting to look moody. Um, however, I did actually attach a light to the top of my camera as well, and um, also to note, everything was filmed handheld as well, which is, you know, when the, the inbuilt uh, stabilization on the A7S II is just amazing. Um, I mean, because it really is, it's so steady, um, because the lens that I used, the Tokina, it doesn't have inbuilt stabilization, so I had to I had to use that. I filmed a variety of shots, I filmed lots of running water, I did lots of it, um, lots of slow motion shots, everything else was in 4K. Something else that I was trying out just for this video was actually uh, the Haze in a can, uh, which I saw, it was actually recommended on uh, Film Riot's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so if you haven't, if you don't know who they are, then um, I don't know, where have you been? Check check out Film Riot. If you haven't seen them, then yeah, I, I expect you all have. But So they recommended uh, the, the Haze in a can. I thought it would be really interesting to sort of combine that with the wooded scene to make it look spooky. And lastly, we've got the assets that I made. Here you can see a couple of examples of how I used it over the footage. And all I did was I filmed a macro shot of uh, th through a glass filled with water with a white background and I dropped food dye into it. 
here's the example of the green, which didn't work quite as well, but actually I quite like that stringy looking effect. So this to me looks really odd, it looks like the surface of an alien planet with volcanoes and that kind of thing, and all it is is uh, oil uh, on sitting on top of water and food dye dropped in, and obviously I flipped the, the footage 180 degrees so it looks like it's rising instead of sinking. I'm not sure if I'll ever find a use for this footage, but I, I thought it looked cool all the same. So there we are. I hope that helped. Um, the, the music video was seriously a lot of fun to film, and I'm, I'm really happy with the results. I know the band are really pleased as well. So um, if you haven't checked out their video yet, um, definitely have a check and check it out and uh, you know, give them some love because they're awesome guys and you know the music's just kick ass. So definitely subscribe to them as well. Give give them a good thumbs up and write them a comment or something. And um, yeah, that'd be good. Anyway, take care. It's been fun. Um, see you next time.